So I've started opening up these filters and some really surprising revelations. Um, I will just show you that, so as an example, this AC Delco Ultra Gold, it's not the same media, but the top cap, bottom cap are identical to the Fram synthetic endurance. Um, the, the plate is identical, no difference at all. The, so the center tube, top cap and bottom cap are identical. Um, the, in my opinion, of the th four Fram options that are 20 microns, the Fram Titanium is far and away the clear winner. I'm just gonna give you an example of why. So if you look at this bottom cap here, it's not even a seal between the bottom of this. I mean, it's probably not gonna be a lot of oil getting through, but it's just poor construction. And look how much less filter media it is than the titanium. The titanium is metal backed. It's got a nice stamped closure. And look at this nice seal, an actual seal on the bottom that mates to the spring. So absolutely no unfiltered oil is getting to your engine. Much larger filter. Plus, look at the difference in the plates. Look at that compared to this, I forget what they call it, like a power flow. Like it's expressly designed base plate to increase, yeah, Fram power flow technology. So... I think the titanium, at least in this model, the 3980, is a clear winner. Over here, I gotta say this Purolator is an absolutely beautifully constructed filter. It's a Purolator boss. It's a crying shame that it's a 46 micron filter because from a construction and build quality standpoint, outstanding. The Mobile One, it's fine. 65 pleats, 64 pleats. Those have a lot of pleats, kind of the traditional. The Bosch at 67 pleats, and 20 microns, this is arguably, and I really like this, like these the filters for this car are not designed to have a bypass. And that's another thing too. So on the Frams, the ultra synthetic has a bypass, which is not supposed to be present in this car at this application. And also this really sucks. This is the tough card. So it's got a bypass but the connection with the spring is so loose. Like you can see on the Ultra, it actually sticks to the base, but on the Tough Guard, because it's just this fiber, it doesn't even, so it's a very loose connection. So uh, without question, unfiltered oil is making it around that bypass. And there should be no bypass. Um, so this is the AC Delco, and there you have it. That's just a quick initial impression. The two filters I'm most impressed with um, the titanium, absolutely, I would run this in my car without any hesitation. None of the other frowns uh, I would feel good about. Um, the wicks, forget it. Um, uh, 23 microns, it's, I mean, it's not a bad filter. It's, it's, it's just when you can have the Bosch right next to it, made by the same company, a 20 micron filter, 20 more pleats, so much more filter, filter surface area. This has this clunky many parts construction to the wicks. It does, just doesn't make sense. This is a more simple, straightforward, absolutely fantastic design with the Bosch. So the Bosch would get my nod. I would use this without hesitation and I would use the Fram Titanium without hesitation. The mobile one's fine, but it's only a 30 micron filter and there's really good 20 micron options. Um, it's too bad this is a 46 micron filter because it is a beautifully constructed filter. And there you have it, that's my summary. Sorry it's a little long, but um, I'll go into more detail in some other videos.